we were peaceful, they'd show us mercy. But now we know the truth. If they shoot at us, nail our heads against a wall, they will pay for it in their own blood. Kara, welcome to Vion. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I was doing some research and I went through some videos of yours and I saw this room and your house. Yes. And I have to say you're an absolute mad hatter. <laughs> Quarantine, yeah, I'm stuck in here. So I decided to make my own sun house. But, um, you know, I think now I've spent so much time with it. I'm trying to tone it down a little because I'm, I'm 30 now. You know, it's nice <laughs> to have the home. I don't need to live in that house. <laughs> but, you know, when I saw the trailer of Carnival Row, I thought it's perfect for you. This magical world is where you belong, don't you think? Yeah, magical world, lots going on, never boring. That's me. That's definitely where I did. Yeah. Uh, how exhausting it is when you finish shooting season one and you have to, like, you know, in a film, you don't have to do this. You finish a film and you move on. But yeah. in, in a show, you have to keep coming back and doing the same character. Is it exhausting? No, I, I love playing the same character. I mean, I love, either way, I love it, but it's kind of, yeah, I couldn't get out of an Irish accent for a while afterwards. It was weird. Season two, I was stuck because I love the character so much. And I think at, at heart, I, there were so many attributes of Vignette that I loved and I wanted to emulate too in my real life. We know this character of yours, she's a fighter. She's a warrior, you know. And how much can you personally relate to her? Um, I don't know. I feel like there was a lot... I again wanted to emulate but I always felt like growing up I didn't really understand how much that my sensitivity was actually like a strength and a strong point and like something that is a gift um I kind of always felt that I just took it as something that I wanted to not be but actually it's the biggest strength in the world um I do relate to her a lot but again I I haven't had the same adversity that Vinya has had but I have had some so I mean in that way, I can relate. You know, uh, when you are uh, in a part of a film industry, uh, a lot of times you're made to feel that you do not belong. Has it ever happened to you that you have felt or made to feel that way? Um, I think I felt that when I was a kid, though. Um, so it's kind of like learning um, the sense of wanting to belong, right? So like, I always believe that like humans, in a way, there's this paradox that we always want to fit in. We always want to belong. But then we always want to be individual too. So I don't know, as a child, I think I just wanted to be loved, right? I wanted to feel love. And I think I found that now, but I found that in myself. And that's the most important thing. Like now I feel like I belong no matter where I am. Because no matter what people think, if you're strong in yourself, no matter how people treat you, you can always feel safe. So that's really cool. Being 30 is really cool. <laughs> I love being 30. It's great. I'm loving it. Thank you so much, Kara. Thank Bye. you for talking to us. Thank you so much, Ben. No, they should be afraid of us.